hi it's Nika fabulously creative here and today I'm showing you the layout for my Mother's Day Mother's Day page in my project life album I'm just getting around to doing it but my um, color scheme for this layout was pink and gold and I figured you know since it's Mother's Day I would use all my favorite colors and just pick out all these pages and the plan for Mother's Day, I don't know, Mother's Day is always a tough day for me. And I don't know, it's kind of the reason why I do Project Life. It was a very long journey for me to become a mother. So Mother's Day is always, I don't know, kind of a happy, sad, just bittersweet, mixed emotion day for me. So the plan for the day was for my husband to take me and my son to the park and fly a kite and take some pictures. And that was my gift. Because I don't know, I feel like a memory would just last so much longer than a gift that or, you know, some piece of electronic that I wouldn't have in a few years. And my husband really hates, I don't know, he he doesn't like the whole outdoors thing the whole photography thing i mean that's one of my favorite things to do just go to the park and take pictures and at one point i wanted to be well i did have a photography business so that's still one of my favorite things i just i don't know take pictures of my family now and i did did those first four cards really quick this is like a six by eight and this is kind of my first time doing a 6x8 layout. I've never done the whole 12x12 12 12 scrapbooking. I don't know. I just never liked the scale of it. And I just really struggled how to embellish this photo. Because, you know, it's kind of new to me. But I just didn't know what to do. So I ended up putting that XO in a piece of washi tape. And then that gold sticker says, this is cool. And I don't know, enamel dots just seem to fix everything for me. So, and I like the way it came out, but I think I could have done more. And then this picture, this goes on back of that other one. And I know I wanted to do some journaling on here. And I see a spot right there, but I didn't want to just write on the picture. Because I don't know, I didn't want to mess up and then have to reprint the picture. So I'm using my little vellum trick that I've been using lately where I write on the vellum and put it over a piece of lined paper and that way if I mess up I don't have to reprint the picture I just cut out another piece of vellum and I cut the piece of vellum I traced it like around the outline of my leg I'm gonna do some journaling right there and I know people who've been doing scrapbooking a long time you know maybe they could have just I don't know journaled right there but I'm just getting used to, I don't know, trying to fit my handwriting in tight spaces. And I'm just journaling that, you know, instead of a gift, I wanted my gift to be, you know, to go to the park and take pictures and fly kites and, you know, do that kind of thing. And I don't know, I just wanted to have a very simple, very simple Mother's Day. And my journaling is all nice and straight and I'm only putting glue around the edges because this tape runner it doesn't dry quite clear it has like a I don't know like a blue fume on it but you have to look very closely to see it and I'm kind of confused again as to how to embellish this and you see me struggling struggling with that where to put that little word label I end up sticking it on top of that pink washi and I think I used that pink washi throughout this layout and it just says cherish this moment and I wasn't sure what else to do so I mean I don't know my fail safe is just to always pull out some enamel dots even enamel dots fix everything and there's just a close-up of my journaling now 
this picture is like a collage I printed on my Canon selfie and I tried to do the rounded edges in my collage app but I don't know I cut it out and then I notice it doesn't match I know it doesn't match the edges of the project life rounded corners <laughs> and again I'm just struggling like how to embellish this and I don't round the corners what I do round the corners of that cord but I think I'm about to discover that I shouldn't have rounded them because they I don't know they don't really match but I just kind of went with it I'm trying to figure out where to put that I think I end up sticking it right there and I wanted to put more on this car, but I just couldn't figure out anything. Now this is just a picture of my son running and I just love, love, love this little picture. I mean, it's so cute that little face he makes when he's just so intense running. And I'm just looking for some little word stickers. And I'm backing that card with some polka dot paper and I think this is the only paper that I use that didn't come from most of it came from this 12 by 12 stack that I got from Michaels let me just see what the name of it is yeah it's called blush glam so everything I all the papers I used in this layout Okay, I hope you enjoyed this layout as always don't forget to if you like this video thumbs up like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for part two of my Mother's Day layout